hi everyone it's sandy thank you for heading over and joining me here on my channel i have here a gorgeous project i want to show you and i made a mini folio style folder using shabby art boutique's august uh, digital paper kit collection and it's the forever friends uh, collection and the papers are just gorgeous kerry ann from shabby art boutique had just um, designed some gorgeous prints and they the images are just beautiful and i've made i put something together because she had asked me uh, to design for her for the uh, august for the month of august which is uh, this collection so i want to share with you my project and uh, i'll also put down below uh, shabby art boutiques uh, etsy store her uh, website uh, facebook instagram and youtube and um, if you want to purchase this kit it's available now it is simply stunning especially if you are into working with shabby uh, style theme projects definitely uh, a perfect kit for you to work with um, i had so much fun and i'm going to show you what i had made in case you want some ideas on what to make with the kit and uh, so let me go ahead and share with you uh, the cover and it is it's not too big but i thought this was a perfect uh, folio style folder to store the uh, images that i had fussy cut and um, there were a bunch of tags in the kit there are pockets uh there are uh, what do they call them a uh, ticket strips and the papers are just gorgeous i had done a video just um just the last video and i did share some of the uh paper kit collection and i'll put that link to my video down below so you can have a look and see what's inside the uh, forever friends uh, august kit but let's go ahead and i'm going to show you the front um, i had to add this gorgeous little girl she is just so cute and i did use the cricut to <clears throat> uh, fussy cut the image out and it was just a perfect size to fit on the cover i did back it with some uh, cheesecloth just to add some little fibers to the cover and I had some of this uh, pink lace trim uh, laying around on my desk so I that was perfect to fit on there uh, this here is a, some it's like baking paper that I had embossed and I just had some scraps laying around so I added that to the back some flat back pearls and this is one of the banners that's in the kit as well and I added that to the front and for the closure I did add this uh, chiffon ribbon trim that had some tulle as well and that was really lovely um, I added a little bead dangle with some crystals and pearls and a little key charm on a antique bronze a tiny safety pin and some trim I thought that was just really lovely on there and so that's how it looks like um, it's not really uh, bulky which is good and I did some stitching around the edges as as well just to add some more interest to the cover and it just opens up with some velcro and these are the hearts that are also in the kit and I think I did use the Cricut for the small one and I just hand cut the larger one and I'm not sure if you could see this, but I did add, I don't know if you can see the sparkling on the heart. I did use uh, some stickles by Ranger. It's called Icicle. So I added that onto the front of the heart just to add a little bit of sparkle to the uh, heart. And then in here is a pocket and i cut out one of the quotes here uh, that's also in the kit and added some trim on the top just so pretty love the colors just nice and soft and just nice and subtle and i didn't distress the edges with any ink i just left it plain because i really wanted to keep it nice and a soft sort of look to the folio folder all i done was just did some distressing with just the edges only with my scissors so I didn't want to add any inking to the edges to the folio folder and that just goes in there so it's really just 
love the front and then over here on the uh, inside of the closure I just added another one of their banners so again I did just some um, distressing with some scissors I also did some stitching around the edge here and these are the two velcro dots for the closure and this is the inside isn't it just stunning just love looking at the color scheme it's just just lovely how they all coordinate together and so this has six pockets so three pockets here and i've got three pockets on this side and this is the front pocket which i'll just show you this side first again this is another banner and there was also some butterflies i fussy cut that and there was a little tiny envelope in the kit which you just cut around and then you just put it together and that's the um, front of the envelope which you could write your little note if you want to gift a little note to someone and this is also a great folio folder as happy mail so if you want to gift uh, some happy mail with some of the fun stuff in the kit this is a great way to send this to um, one of your crafty friends with all of the fun stuff inside and so inside the little mini folder or envelope i did store all the little uh images or ephemera pieces that i used the cricket i used the cricket to cut these out because i wanted them a little bit smaller so i could use them for smaller projects and when i'm doing some embellishing so i'll pop them in here so i won't lose them i think there was some more in here I think I've got a ton. There's a few more. So there are these ones as well. I love that. I love the wreath. Just so dainty, so pretty. There's a bouquet of flowers, and they come in the larger size as well. And there's hearts. There's butterflies. There's leaves. A ton of stuff. So I'm just going to place that back in here. Oh, I'll leave that out. Uh, there were also some tags and with the Cricut I, I'm able to resize the tags to different sizes but I think this is one of the standard size that's in the kit and then this one here I resize it smaller and so this is how the front cover looks like so I did some I did tear the edge just to give it a sort of more of a shabby feel to the uh, cover and then the middle part here is another pocket and then i added one of their um uh, what it called, like a label note card shape kind of thing and it's got a pretty little girl here as well with some uh, roses and i think this is a great cute little place where you can do some uh, writing and there is another one of the quote cutter parts and there's also some mini file folders for you to cut out yourself and these are just so cute and it, they're really easy to cut out just follow the lines and then you just fold it in half so i thought these would be perfect in here and that's the middle pocket and these are the papers uh, that all are also are in the kit so i'll leave them out so we can see the rest and then at the top here is a, a deeper pocket and I'll place one of these that's also inside the August kit isn't this just pretty just beautiful love it I just finished it off with some of some trims that I have and I just stitched it on here it was just pretty and these are some of the tags and more cutter parts um, I made this gorgeous little heart glitter paper clip. So I've, I've placed these in here as well so I could use this for my next project. This one says friends, blessed and love. Just beautiful images. Carrie Ann does such a wonderful job making this gorgeous kit. And these are some of the larger tags. Keep these ones together. 
Now, this is only just some of the stuff. There are still a whole heap of other images um, that I didn't manage to put in here. Um, then I also did some more embellishing to the front of the next pocket. And I did fussy cut these and there was a cute little tiny little, like a sticker, uh, sorry, a ticket strip here that I, I, I used a Cricut for this one and also for this heart. And then in here is one of the ticket strips. Isn't she just adorable? <laughs> She's just so cute. And there she is again on the swing. And I just use my scissors to cut this out and just follow the lines. Just pretty. And then you can just cut these out if you wanted to and then use it that way. And I made uh, a little note card. I had some of the scrap papers left and I just uh, adhered it to the front and this is how it looks like. So it's like a note card so you can write some journaling or write your message. Or you can also add a couple of little photos here if you wanted to add some photos. And then I also backed the back of the white part. So that's, that's a cute little note card. And then there were some more of the little mini file folders inside. This is another one. And the great thing about these kits, you can print as many times as you want and make a whole heap of these sort of file folders if you wanted to. So this is how this front pocket looks like. And this is the middle pocket. So in that middle pocket, I've added these gorgeous tags and they have some lines so you can use the lines as a guide if you wanted to do some journaling. That's the back. Just place one of these little trims on the top of one of them. Just very shabby and just love the colour tones. And then this is the, uh, the last pocket. So all I've done was I alternated the papers to make the pocket or the pockets. And at the back of this one, I made, a, it's like a matchbook style pocket. Normally the matchbooks are, tend to go this way when you open them, go that way. But I made it this way. I've got a closure here. Um, so this is, again, another piece um, of the... Uh, a cut apart or one of the ephemeras and I did use a velcro for a closure and that's the inside and this opens out and I had um, some of the papers so what I made was I made a little booklet with some of the papers as samples for myself and I could also just use these if I wanted to if I want to do some collaging or make it a master board i could use these so these are some of the papers that you get in the kit and with these papers you can see here there i'm not sure if you can see it but there is like a perforated line going across each one and this way i could just tear the paper out if i want to use it and what I had used to make these perforated lines I used uh, an EK, EK tool and it has this blade here so when you run it through it gives you a perforated cut on your paper so then you can tear it when you need to and there's also a, a smooth cutting one on that side and what I've done I uh, just I just grabbed my little mini scoreboard and I just place it on the scoreboard and then I just cut cut it wherever I wanted to make the cut and then I just press it down on it and I just sort of gently run it and it will just run oh, I'm not doing it properly because I haven't got it on the table but it does cut um, but easy if I Put it on the table for pressure but it will do that and then you just it will just tear once you've 
um, made your uh, perforator cut. Obviously, that one didn't cut well, but I won't cut these out because I'm not going to use them yet. But um, that's what I've done with these. And again, these papers are really nice. And I had on my paper uh, trimmer one of my uh, paper the blades. It's already sort of not as uh, gives me a precise cut, but I keep those blades so I could give it that sort of torn look. So I use that blade to give me that sort of a rough, sort of um, rough edge to the papers. So that's a good, great way to keep your blades, the old blades, and you can use them for that. So that's what I've done with that. Closes up, and then I did just add another little scrap piece as well from that kit. And that closes up that way. This is a lovely paper. And that's how it looks like. So I hope um, you enjoyed this project share of one of my uh, mini folio style folders where I can keep all of my file folders and cutter parts so I could have these ready for my next project, which I do have another project uh, ready in the making using this same kit again, which I will share with you um, in one of my videos. But I'm still working on it, and um, I just wanted to show you this project first. Uh, again, I'll put all the links down below, and I hope you enjoyed this video showing you this kit and my little project and I hope I will see you soon in my next video I have a another fun six by six project to show you with a tutorial and I hope you will join me for that video thanks for joining me and I'll see you soon bye